Here at Red Wolf Group, we love doing team building activities. It's one of my favorite things to do. If you've got a team and you wanna bring them all together and you want them to have a better understanding of each other, you want them to have a great time, you wanna put lots of energy into your team, maybe you wanna get them aligned in the same direction, get them really focused for the year, we run team building activities. We can do anything from um, doing fun team building activities. We can uh, do strategic sessions with your team. Um, we can run knowledge workshops. There's a range of things we can do around team building. Check out what our client had to say about a recent team activity we did for them. As part of a rapidly growing organisation, we're using the predictive index across the entire organisation from the top down. What we did this year was we decided to hold an off-site for two days with our entire team. Not just the leadership team, but every single member of our organisation who had all done the predictive index before they came along and who had been debriefed significantly on it. So they had a good understanding of who they were and their inherent needs for communication and behaviour. We then, using the, the behaviour, broke down the teams um, into key key behavioural skill sets and did an activity called building a bridge, which was very challenging, particularly if we had people whose behaviour was more extreme in one way or another. Um, and that was really interesting to see people whose behaviour fell more predominantly to say dominance or more predominantly to say patience, where the bridges were very, very vastly different from stability all the way through. The builders who built a bridge with a lot of detail tended to have a stronger bridge as opposed to the people who were all big idea thinkers. Let's build a bridge, good idea. Let's find some other people to build it for us. Quite open to delegation is the other thing that this group was. And I, and I, was, I was interested to see that there was only ever two people working on the bridge at once. So the team were openly delegating to each other. Like, no, you do it. No, you do it. <laughs> So it was a very exciting uh, and it was a very um, interesting experience because it, whilst every team managed to build a bridge, some with greater success than others, it, it bonded everyone together. We were all doing the same, same task. Didn't matter where our strongest skills lay, whether it was in detail, in dominance, in patience, what it did do was it enabled us to then see that we can all do every task. Some people just are more comfortable doing some tasks than others. And that's pretty much what the predictive index shows us. It shows us where our greatest comfort levels are. Not that we can't do things, but that we're more suited to other ways of communicating and behaviour.